Hi! Do you encounter any issue when using MDK Kyle with ST-Link? If you do, here is a simple solution to solve the ST-Link is not detected or it crashes your microvision. Let's connect the ST-Link device to the PC. In my case, I use Nucleo F103 board from ST. Let's open Device Manager to check its status. It looks like no driver has been found for ST-Link. Let's install it from MDK folder. Let's allow the driver installation. Look at that! It sounds great! Let's us check whether MDK Kyle could detect it or not. Prior to that, I remove my Nucleo board and reconnect it again. A power cycle is needed. Then we come to the MDK Kyle option to check whether our ST-Link is detected or not. Under Debug, choose ST-Link then click on Setting. Oops! ST-Link is still not found. What was going on? Let me double check again. No luck at all. Must be some bugs with the MDK or ST link driver. Let's try another method. We need to download ST-Link Utility Software from its website. You need to register an account if you don't have it. Unzip and install it once you have downloaded it. This is a very useful and handy tool if you would like to troubleshoot your ST-Link or STMCU. Let's wait a couple of minutes to let the ST-Link utility to complete. Look at that! It has another driver need to be installed. Allow that. Power cycle the board again. Let's us check again from the device manager. Nothing new was found. It is identical with the previous one. Let's run the ST-Link utility software and perform the firmware upgrade first. You see, ST-Link utility does detect it. Upgrade is successful. Let's try to connect to it and erase the MCU. All working. Then it must be the MDK Kyle problem.
After some consideration, it could be ST-Link USB driver DLL issue. MDK Kyle has an older version. Let's replace it from the ST-Link utility software folder. Copy ST-Link USB driver DLL from ST-Link utility and overwrite it in Kyle underscore V5 arm street link folder. Let's check it again from MDK Kyle. Yes! It is detected now. Let's try to build and flash the board now. Not again. It sounds like MDK ARM has updated its ARM compiler to version 6. Okay. It is fine now and let's stick to our plan to flash it. Obviously, flashing, debugging with breakpoints are working now. Thank you for watching.